Well, Barkiv Europa, it was a big dream for me for many years. I dreamt about being on this vessel and this is something from childhood, actually. I'm absolutely sure when uh, every one of us, we were kids, we were reading books about adventures, about brave people who go into the sea, they discover, explore. If you come to Antarctica, you know, it looks like a different planet. It's difficult to, to define the distance and, and how big some things are. And then you see clouds and then you, above the clouds you see peaks of mountains coming out again. And the sun really low gives it a, a really beautiful effect also. But I can imagine that if you have never been to Antarctica and you have never been on a tall ship and you find yourself steering the ship in the middle of the Drake, quite stormy seas, and that it can give a feeling of what it must have been like to come to these waters so many years ago. It's just a washing machine, it sort of, <laughs> it sort of sorts you out. You're wet, cold, miserable, pulling ropes, crossing the drake and... <laughs> Great passage, it tears you down. So when you arrive in Antarctica, you're a completely different person. The biggest emotion that I think I felt was tranquility. Experiencing a silent world. Sometimes I had the feeling that I was walking or sailing or seeing another earth which we have never seen before, not in my wildest dreams. It's complete silence, the only thing you hear is the chattering of thousands of penguins and if that's not majestic I don't know what is. We were like crossing a, a passage with a lot of ice. It was completely silent and you heard the ice crossing underneath the boat. And then you had the sun going down and it was like an amazing view of, of Antarctica. If you step on board of a tall ship that, that you realize really straight away that you can't sail this ship on your own. Everything is done the old fashioned way uh, as it was done uh, uh, 200 years ago. You, you're actually sailing the ship. You put up the sails, you pull on ropes. That's the way that I wanted it, like the real boy's own adventure. Uh, it's just having this more closer experience with the, with the elements and uh, the climbing, the rigging, the sailing, the people working on the ship, it's just a whole world on itself. And we climbed the mast and you see all the icebergs of pristine land in the beautiful ship and you realize that here we are, this, uh, just enjoying the silence, looking at the whales and seals that are all around us. And we all shared the dream on such a beautiful vessel, all together. I mean, it's, it's just been one of those experiences that you don't really understand. Just these wild moments that make you feel like you're in the documentary of your dreams. <laughs> <laughs>